What's up? Welcome back to Baking Butterly Love. My name is Katie and today I have five tips to share with you for how to pipe a perfectly vintage cake. And I have a surprise for you as well. Not only are you going to get five tips from me, this video is also in collaboration with Lorelai of Cakes with Lorelai. She's got three really cool vintage cake designs to share with you. So after you're done watching this video, make sure you head over to her channel and check out her video as well. And if you don't know Lorelai yet, let me introduce you. Hi, I'm Lorelai and I am so excited about doing this collaboration with Katie at Butterly Love. We're going to be doing a, a vintage cake, buttercream decoration, all kinds of piping. And um, I'm super excited. And I have a channel called Cakes with Lorelei and a website called Wedding Cakes for You. Awesome. I am so excited to do these vintage cakes. I think they're so fun to make. So without further ado, let's dive into those tips. Tip number one, measure and mark your cake to get even decorations. One of the keys to a perfect vintage design is having an evenly repeating pattern all around your cake. I think the best way to do this is to create guidelines for yourself before you start piping. An easy trick is to cut out a circle of parchment paper the same size as your cake, then fold it to create even sections. I folded this one in half four times to create eight even sections. Then you can gently place the paper on top of your cake and make small marks at each fold line. I like to chill my cake first so that I don't have to worry about the paper sticking to the frosting. You can also use a cookie cutter or a glass or anything round to mark circles around the top of your cake. I picked out a cookie cutter that was the same size width as each of my eight sections so that everything would line up nicely. Tip number two, use muted colors. When you think vintage, you probably think of muted or faded colors. So if you want to get that look on your cake, you have to tone down the colors a bit. Now, I'm not saying that you can only use light or pastel colors, only that sometimes food coloring right out of the bottle is a little intense, so you might have to do a little mixing to tone things down. A great trick is to add a tiny bit of complementary color. So for example, you might add a tiny bit of green to your pink if you want to tone it down. But of course, rules are made to be broken, so if you want to go crazy with colors, I say go for it. Just follow the other four tips in this video. And that brings me to tip number three, use multiple types of piping tips and techniques. So this is definitely not the time to be reserved in your piping. These retro style cakes are all about being over the top. So break out all your piping tips and get ready to pipe. For this cake, I used a petal tip, round tips, star tips, and even a leaf tip. I tried to vary the size and the styles of my piping. So I did smaller dots and larger dots, smaller shells and larger shells, and you get the idea. This is the part where you really get to have fun and play around with all the different techniques. It's also a great time to try out any piping tips that you might have that never seem to get used. Now, if you don't have lots of different piping tips, don't worry because you can still follow my next tip, which is tip number four, layer piped textures. You really wanna make sure that you're layering your pipe textures and not just piping separate patterns around your cake. So on this cake, I started at the top with these swags with a petal tip. Then I layered on two strings and lots of dots. Along the bottom, I layered shells over the base border and then small rosettes over each shell. And along the top, I layered a shell border over top of the green ruffle border. So even if you only had one or two different piping tips, you could still achieve an intricate look by layering your pipe designs. Tip number five, work from top to bottom. This applies more to the sides of your cake rather than the top, but it's a really good idea to work from the top to the bottom when piping your designs. Occasionally, you might have little hiccups in your piping and the buttercream might fall down, so you don't want anything from the top to fall down and mess up something that you've already piped along the bottom. If you pipe the top first, you can easily wipe away any bits of buttercream that happen to fall down without worrying about your bottom border. Also, if you do make any mistakes in your piping, you can usually just scrape those away or readjust things with a toothpick. If you'd like to use my buttercream recipe to make your own vintage style cake, you can find the link for my Swiss meringue buttercream in the description below. And don't forget to check out Lorelai's video for even more vintage cake inspiration. 
Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.